Hey guys, uh, Big Mike back, uh, Tips Tavern, welcome. There was a question in our Facebook group today, or more post, actually, thank you Dave, uh, concerning the proper use of Thunderwave in 5th edition. And it referenced a Reddit post by a guy with an anonymous looking name. That could be a real name. I apologize if I'm getting it wrong. But his post says, So the PHB describes Thunderwave's area of effect as a 15-foot cube originating from you. How exactly does this work? For the longest time, my group has been playing it where my character stomps the ground or something and the cube is centered on me. So every square adjacent is affected. However, one of your players, <clears throat> one of our players, went to Gen Con and groups were playing it where the cube has to, to be next to the player as if he's pushing thunder out from him into the adjacent squares. Is either way more acceptable? Additionally, if the cube is centered on yourself, when you cast Thunder Wave, since the force of the thunder is originating from you, would the caster be damaged as well? Okay, so let's break that apart into a couple of pieces. I'm going to start off by just reading the actual spell description. Okay, so Thunder Wave. Range, self, duration, instant, casting time, one action. Wizard, bard, druid, and sorcerer have access to this spell. It carries a vocal and somatic spell component. Flavor text reads, a blast of force that reels your enemies. A wave of thunderous force sweeps out from you. Each creature in a 15-foot cube originating from you must take a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, the creature takes 2 die 8 thunder damage and is pushed 10 feet from you. On a successful save, the creature takes half as much damage and isn't pushed. In addition, obscured objects that are completely within the area of effect are automatically pushed 10 feet away from you by the spell's effect. The spell emits a thunderous boom audible out to 300 feet. Okay. So, in our Curse of Strahd group, we had played it. In fact, we played it a little wrong. I was going out 15 feet in any direction, so it actually <laughs> ended up being way too big now that I think of it. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, Dave points out that that would also mean vertically, because it says in all directions. That also means vertically up and down. So yeah, we would have made this probably the equivalent of like a level 6 or 7 spell by the way I just played it. But yeah, whatever. So, the question lies. Does it originate from you, you being the center of the cube, or to the side of you, front of you, back of you, top of you, bottom of you? I guess I was wrong. I thought originating from you would mean you are the center of the cube. So, I went and actually read the rule book, like, you know, I should have done a long time ago. Page 204 of the Player's Handbook goes into targeting spells and areas of effect. When we read cube... You select a cube's point of origin, which lies anywhere on the face of a cubic effect. The cube's size is expressed as the length of each side. A cube's point of origin is not included in the cube's area of effect unless you decide otherwise. So it's up to the caster if they're affected by the cube's effect. However, they have to be on the edge of one part of the cube. And I did it wrong. I apologize. I'm not going to lie. I should have read these books a lot more thoroughly before I started. Um, one of the other DMs in our group points out fairly accurately that you really should become more fluent before you start to DM. And yes, I agree with that. I do. However, sometimes... Sometimes people just want to play and real life gets in the way. So, yeah, I shot from the hip on that one and I'm sorry. However, these people at Gen Con were also doing it wrong. It doesn't generate, it does not originate adjacent to you. In front of you, behind of you, to the left of you, to the right of you, it does not originate to the left adjacent to you. You have to be part of that area. You have to be part of the area. You have to be on the edge of the area. So... 
it comes down to they were trying to game the system. It comes down to the same problem we had in 4th edition. A lot of our players are getting way too used to video games. And it sounds crazy when I say that, because I absolutely love video games. I live video games. I spend ridiculous amounts of money on video games. But Dungeons & Dragons is not a video game. It is a game. And we're getting a little rules lawyery here, so bear with me. But rules is written. We did it wrong. Rules is written. Our poster is reading it wrong. You have to be at the edge of the cube effect. Just a little bit out there. Just my opinion. Gamers gaming the game. So, thanks for watching. Comment below. Tell me I'm full of crap. Tell me I suck. Subscribe. Like the video if you did. Heck, like it anyway. Hit like. Right now. You. Yeah, you. Hit like. Okay, fine. If you didn't, great. Thanks for watching anyway. Have a great night, guys. Thanks for playing.